hello friends welcome to my youtube channel and uh, today we're going to solve this question so before we solve this question please do subscribe the channel if you're new to my channel also share with your friends inspire me to create new content for you and help me to grow my channel also hit the bell icon so that you get notified when new video will be uploaded and don't forget to hit the thumbs up button okay so now let's start so what is the question here if a charged particle is moving through a transverse uniform electric field so that the path of that particle will be a parabola inside the field so particle a charged particle moving through a transverse uniform electric field means that means the direction of motion of this charged particle is perpendicular to the direction of the electric field that is what this transverse uniform electric field mean okay and the electric field is uniform okay this is not variable in this case so let's uh, uh, just uh, copy this question okay note this question and uh, let me give you the answer okay this is a charged particle this is positively charged its charge is q and it is moving in the direction along x axis along x direction so its initial velocity suppose initial velocity is suppose ux let me write initial velocity is suppose ux okay initial velocity is ux and it enters an a uniform it enters a uniform electric field okay it enters a uniform electric field which is in the direction along y axis okay in the direction along y axis right so this is x axis this is y axis okay so this is the z axis suppose this is the origin that's the coordinate system suppose then when it enters this electric field we need to show that its path will be a parabola we need to show its path will be a parabola so let us consider let us consider let us consider a charged particle a charged particle of charge positive q is moving is moving in x direction through electric field through a through an electric field sorry uh, let me consider through a uniform uniform electric field electric field e which is equal to e y because it is directed along y axis in y direction electric field in y direction right so here the electric field is in y direction so its x and y component will be zero uh, sorry x and z component will be zero so it has only x component it has only x component sorry not x y component because it is directed along y axis right and uh, so let me consider ux be the initial velocity of the charged particle of the charged particle
charged particle of mass m of mass m right now the force experienced by this charged particle so you see the force experienced by a charged particle q in an electric field is given by f is equal to q into e right that is the formula so here what we're going to have so just do it so here the force the force acting on the charged particle on the charged particle is given by is given by f is equal to q into e okay so the direction of the force will be uh, you know uh, along y axis and here y component we have taken the electric field e and that e is the y component because the uh, x and z components are zero so you can write directly E y uh, just let me uh, keep it E y then we can put instead of E y we can put E right because the electric field is electric field E directed along y axis so that's why it's uh, x and z components are zero and y component is simply E if the electric field is E right uh, if the electric field is E then y e uh, sorry E y is also E right so now you see this force is equal to mass into acceleration so here we have to take the acceleration along y axis right because the electric field is along y axis the force will be on y axis uh, along y axis direction of the force will be along y axis so uh, that's why acceleration is also along y axis so here q instead of e y we can write directly e because e is the applied electric field which is applied along y axis so e y is equal to e right hope these things are clear to you so now let me write here one more thing acceleration along a x and uh, acceleration along x axis and y axis is zero here and a y is the acceleration of the uh, you know charged particle right now here the acceleration a y will be given by acceleration a y will be given by q e by m this is suppose equation number one let me give it uh, equation number one right pause the video and uh, note these things i'm going to clean this board now okay so so let me write this equation here at the corner a y is equal to q e by m this is equation number one and i'm going to use this equation later okay so I have written there because I am going to clean this board. Okay, but uh, I need this equation, so I have written there. So pause the video and note it down. Now you see, after a time t, so what will be the displacement along x-axis? Now you see this is you know acceleration uh, uh, acceleration of this charged particle is along y axis not uh, along x axis so that's why you see uh, acceleration uh, is along y axis because the force is acting along y axis right there is no acceleration along this uh, you know x axis and uh, 
now displacement along x axis is displacement along x axis or x direction after time t is given by x is equal to so we know that uh, this velocity is equal to displacement by time so displacement is is equal to velocity into time here you see initial velocity we have taken uh, ux and as there is no acceleration along x axis so this ux is going to be constant right so from here we going to get t is equal to x by ux right this is suppose equation number 2 now displacement along y axis displacement along y axis after same time so here you you can use this formula v is equal to u t plus sorry s is equal to s is equal to u t plus half a t square if you use this formula so displacement along y axis so let me write y instead of s and u t now initial velocity so initially before it enters the electric field it is moving uh, it was moving along x axis so there is no initial velocity along y axis so that's why this u y so if you put here y if you put here u y this is a y then u y will be zero right u y will be zero zero into t is zero simply so that's why we're gonna have half a y t square half a y t square right so now you see we know that a y is equal to this from equation number one we can put that a y so therefore a uh, sorry y is equal to half instead of a y we are going to put q e by m and instead of t we're going to put this value that is x by this right whole square okay so using 1 and 2 using 1 and 2 using equation number 1 and equation number 2 so we have these two equations uh, we have used these two equations and from here what you can get so x square this x square will be equal to if you simplify then you're gonna have 2m ux square ux square divided by qe into y so after simplification we have got this equation so now you see this part is constant this portion is constant because initial velocity that gonna be constant Q is obviously constant, E is electric field which is also uniform electric field so constant, mass that's going to be constant, right? So that's why we can write this one as x square is equal to k into y, this is suppose equation number 3, so where, where k is equal to 2m u x square by q e is a constant is a constant as as e comma q comma m and uh, u x are constant are constant right and this equation number three is this is this equation number three this equation number three represents parabola okay this equation this equation represents represents a parabola so 
so that is what we needed to show right so that means the part of this charged particle will be a pair of them inside the inside the electric field right so here it is proved that this charged part of this charged particle will be a parabola right so hope you have understood this so now you see from this equation number three it is proved so whatever i'm going to write now that should be written below this step okay but uh, uh, i have, uh, there is no space below here so that's why i'm going to write here okay so therefore from equation number three from equation number three it is just wait it is proved that the part the part of a charged particle particle moving moving through moving through a transverse uniform electric field is a parabola answer is right so hope you have understood this so if you have understood please do like this video and share with your friends instagram to create the